Welcome to SRAM Technical Communications. This video will guide you through the installation and setup of the SRAM RED ETAP group set. You will need the following tools and supplies. A 5mm, 4mm, 2.5mm and 2mm hex wrench. 5mm and 4mm hex bit sockets. A torque wrench. A chain breaker. Bicycle grease and friction paste safety glasses, and nitrile gloves. The wireless ETAP components must be paired to communicate with one another. To begin the pairing process, press and hold the function button on the rear derailleur until the green LED blinks slowly. Press and hold the function button on each component until the LED blinks quickly, then release. Pairing is successful when the LED lights on both the rear derailleur and the device being paired blink quickly. To end the pairing process, wait 30 seconds for the pairing session to time out or press and release the function button on the rear derailleur. Press the right shifter paddle to move the rear derailleur outboard and press the left shifter paddle to move the rear derailleur inboard. Press both shifter paddles simultaneously to move the front derailleur. If the derailleurs do not respond, repeat the pairing process. Any time a component is added or replaced, the entire pairing process must be repeated. Slide the shifter onto the handlebar. Fold the rubber hood on the shifter forward to expose the clamp bolt. Use a 5mm hex wrench to tighten the shifter clamp. To adjust the reach, Fold the rubber hood back. Use a 2.5 mm hex wrench to adjust the reach. Follow the same procedure to install the other shifter. For SRAM mechanical rim brake caliper and cable installation instructions, follow this link. For other brake calipers and cables, consult the manufacturer's instructions. The front derailleur must be in the outboard position to begin installation. Make sure the front derailleur is in the outboard position. The front derailleur can be shifted by pressing the function button on the derailleur. For clamp mount installation, apply friction paste to the clamp. Use a 4 mm hex wrench to loosely attach the clamp to the bicycle. Use a torque wrench with a 4 mm hex bit socket to tighten the derailleur bolt to the clamp. For brazon installation, Use a 4 mm hex wrench to loosely install the front derailleur to the brazon tab. Align the tip of the tallest tooth on the large chainring within the setup line on the derailleur. While viewing from the top, align the nose and tail guide marks on the front derailleur with the large chainring. There must be a gap of 1 to 2 mm between the tallest teeth of the large chainring and the bottom edge of the outer cage plate. If the gap is outside the range, readjust the height of the derailleur and the alignment of the nose and tail guide marks, then retighten the derailleur bolt or clamp bolt. Use a torque wrench with a 4 mm hex bit socket to tighten the derailleur bolt or clamp bolt. Before installing the rear derailleur, the hanger must be properly aligned to your frame. Apply grease to the rear derailleur hanger threads. Install the derailleur in the inboard position. Do not force the derailleur inboard or outboard. Use only the function button on the derailleur or the shifter paddles to adjust the pulley position. To shift the derailleur inboard, press the function button on the derailleur twice quickly or press and hold the left shifter paddle. Use a 5 mm hex wrench to thread the derailleur bolt into the derailleur hanger. Use a torque wrench to tighten the bolt. The upper pulley wheel and the largest cog must be aligned. To adjust the pulley wheel outboard, press the right shifter function button and simultaneously press the paddle. To adjust the pulley wheel inboard, press the left shifter function button and simultaneously press the paddle. Use a 2.5 mm hex wrench to rotate the B adjust screw until there is a 6 to 8 mm gap between the tips of the pulley wheel teeth 
and the teeth of the largest cog. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to rotate the low limit screw so that it lightly contacts the inner link of the rear derailleur. Shift the rear derailleur fully outboard. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to adjust the high limit screw until it lightly touches the inner link of the rear derailleur. To properly size the chain, first wrap the chain around the largest cog and the large chain ring. From where the chain meets, add one outer link and one inner link. Use a chain breaker to remove the excess chain at the inner link. Place the chain on the smallest cog. Route the chain through the rear derailleur. Connect the ends with a SRAM power lock. The arrow on the power lock must point in the direction of chain travel. Rotate the crank until the power lock is above the chain stay. Apply the rear brake while pushing the crank arm down to lock the power lock into place. You should hear and feel the power lock click into place. The front derailleur must be in the outboard position to set the high limit screw. If the high limit screw is adjusted while in the inboard position, the derailleur can be damaged permanently. With the chain on the small cog and the large chain ring, check the gap between the chain and the inner surface of the outer cage. There must be a gap of 0.5 millimeters between the chain and the inner surface of the outer cage. When adjusting the high limit screw, it is important to note that the high limit screw is reverse threaded. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to rotate the high limit screw clockwise to move the cage inboard or counterclockwise to move the cage outboard. Shift the chain onto the small chain ring and largest cog. There must be a gap of 0.5 to 1 millimeter of clearance between the inside of the inner derailleur cage plate and the chain. Use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to turn the low limit screw clockwise to move the cage outboard, or counterclockwise to move the cage inboard. The wedge provides additional support for the front derailleur by filling the gap between the seat tube, or brazon hanger, and the derailleur. There are three wedge size and shape options, A, B, and C. The letters can be found on the back of the wedge. Select the wedge that best fits the gap between the seat tube or brazon hanger and the derailleur. Place the labeled side of the wedge against the derailleur. Thread the wedge bolt into the mounting hole loosely with the wedge tab contacting the bottom of the derailleur body. Slide the wedge toward the front of the bike until it lightly contacts the seat tube or brazon hanger. Use a 2 millimeter hex wrench to tighten the wedge bolt hand tight. Do not allow the wedge to move the derailleur cage. If the wedge moves the derailleur cage, the shifting may become compromised. Similar to a barrel adjuster on mechanical systems, unwanted rasping sounds can be eliminated by fine-tuning the rear derailleur shifting with micro-adjustments. To micro-adjust from a larger cog to a smaller cog, press the right shifter function button while simultaneously pressing the shifter paddle. The rear derailleur may not appear to move. Watch for the LED to blink to confirm the derailleur executed the command. To micro-adjust from a smaller cog to a larger cog, press the left shifter function button while simultaneously pressing the shifter paddle. This concludes the installation and setup process for the SRAM RED ETAP group set. Thank you.